In this video I'm going to show you how to inject the faceplate. Uh, in this case it's going to be for this electronic controller to go around the rim, but it can also be used with conjunction any switch or any electronic device to go around the perimeter uh, to close off the punched or etched hole. And you have four runners right here, so the plastic enters from the middle and then it evenly gets distributed on four sides of this faceplate like this. Okay, the injection is over and I actually on purpose overfilled the mold a little bit to show you what the flash is and how to deal with it. So there is a flash and the flash usually happens when uh, the mold is overfilled forcefully uh, against uh, the injection pressure. But it's not a big deal because most of the time the flash can simply be trimmed off or the pressure reduced. As you can see, uh, here's the flash and there's the faceplate in the middle. And the flash is very thin. It's maybe less than a millimeter. So you can simply cut it off with scissors and it's not a big deal at all. with a screwdriver to take it off. And here use scissors to trim it off. Like this. And like that. And now I'm going to inject without a flash so you can see what it looks like. That they basically look identical. Okay. And in this 
this case, I reduced the injection pressure by letting go of the trigger sooner, and you can see there's no flash formed at all. There it is. Uh, you can see they're identical. And they will simply slide on this controller like this uh, to form the face. And this concludes the video presentation of this uh, faceplate injection. Thanks for watching.